Right, so the first battle between the Violet Shards and... King Alan's Revenge. King Alan's Revenge. Vengeance, even. Vengeance. Right, the fight type. Phil, please do us the honours. Of a six. Earn D3 times 100 extra income and score one extra victory point for breaking the opposing gang. The winner of the fight can choose which of the two options to take. Ooh. Very, very handy. Now, two subplots each. So we get two of these. Oh, wow. All right. So I get a one and a four. Well, no, it's 2d6. Oh, it's 2d6, so it's five. So low fuel. The player that rolls this result uh, must roll a dice at the end of each round. If the score is less than the round number, their murder pack breaks and the fight is over. <laughs> so even if I don't lose models... <laughs> <laughs> Me? Wow, I've got to kill you in fast. 12? I've rolled three sixes. So. The player that rolled this result can re roll survival rolls of a one to three for your gang members. So Weird. that's handy because then you might not lose any. Yeah, that's right. Right, let's set up the first mission. Right, folks, so this is the first mission in this as yet unnamed campaign, which will probably be named by the time you watch this. Um, so, mission number one. Phil. So, Phil rolls a five. I roll a two. Right, so after setting the terrain up, this is how it stands. Of course, got the centre piece in the middle. Phil, I have plus one to my dice roll because, in fact, no, you had plus one because I have more models than you. Yeah. So I roll a two. Which it's means tie. we tie. Yeah. We re-roll, but no modifiers. <laughs> Oh my god, what are the chances? So, you have to go in the centre, my friend, and set all of your models up facing the same direction. Any direction. Any direction you want within six inches of that plate. It's going to be four. I'm going to look four. No, you don't have to roll for that. Yeah, but no, I have no idea, so I'm just going to go like this. Okay. Uh, yeah, probably just going to do something like that. So, where do I set up? I set, <laughs> oh yeah! my word! Yeah! <laughs> Four straight in front. Oh yeah. Oh damn. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 this is Ooh. gonna be funny. Let's get these set up. Right, so there we go after set up. Um, Phil, do you actually want to make uh, an adjustment turn though? Or are you quite happy where you are? Um. Because you can potentially, it's not seize the initiative, but. Basically, turn to face me if you wanted, or you can turn to face away from me. I'm already facing you, so that's... So, are you staying where you are? I'm going stay where I am. No. Cool. Right. So, uh, we can't really do any quarry or... Yeah, th 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 right. this is going instantly against me, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So, let's say, for example, these guys are out just testing out the new skyboards. You know, pretty <laughs> tired. From Christmas. They have other boards. They're like... <laughs> Nimbus 2000s. <laughs> the Nimbus 2000s. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they're obviously running low on fuel. And uh, King Alan's. Is it Alan? King Alan's Vengeance. King Alan's Vengeance. What, why are they here? Uh, well, it's kind of in the title. Vengeance will be served! Which we don't know why, so. Okay. So, dice off to see who is going to go first. I got a six. So we'll get to three. Cool. Right, so this is going to be a little bit difficult considering that we're going to be playing this live, but let's see how it goes. So, Freya has a 15 inch move. So she is going to be going straight up to there. She's not going to turn, she's not going to do any maneuvers, but she is within six of that sky river. So, Phil, over to you. Uh, huh. Who do I want to move? Um, I kind of want to just get the crap out of there, um, but I think I'm going to do this guy, mm -hmm. and I'm going to do side slip. Yep. So my uh, pilot in is one, my agility is seven, so I need an eight. Nope. So I can't side slip. But you now have to move. But I now have to move. At least six um, inches forward. So I'm going to turn 45 degrees. Yep. Bear in mind you can't go over the rock. Problem. Uh, it definitely is a problem, Harry. 
And then stem to stem, I go right there. Yep. Yeah. That's him. <laughs> okay, so next up we are going to move some of the Helions. Straight forward 12 inches. So I'm going to go straight there. No barrel oil, nothing like that, just straight up. Alright, this guy here. Yep. He's going to do a hit and run, uh, which is after I make a movement, uh, movement where I'm armed with a Zephyr which I am, and if I move over at least one enemy model during the move, if successful, the Sky Raver can attack one model, um, and this is a bonus attack, and the Sky Raver may attack normal in phase four. So basically, so, you maneuver and do an attack as yeah. part of it. So it's same again, it's an eight. I get it. Which I'm guessing you're going to hit me. Yeah. Hell so I off. move over you, I'm going to go straight for like a. Um, Minimum six, can't get over you, so I'll just go in way out, <laughs> about here. Out so there, you're going to go to there? Yeah, because cool. I'm going to be in their arcs. Cool. And then I get a bonus attack. Um, yeah, bonus attack. Um, Does what, it happen now? Yeah, you do it now as part of your yeah. maneuver. So it's a... Uh, I'm agility eight. Right. But... Zephyrglaive has plus one to hit or to kill, doesn't it? I'm gonna go with plus one to kill. Which is a further plus one because I'm on a, a skyboard. So instead of a nine, it's a seven. But so I need an eight first. Do I get? The, I do get the jink this though. If you do, you do. So I am going to jink, which means I'm a twelve minus two, which means you need a ten to kill. But you're still gonna, you still need to hit us. Eight. Hit. You hit. And then ten. Oh no! Oh, what? Yes, who's that? That's the poker chip guy. That's ah, uh, that's ill. Ill killed you. Oh my word! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh what? <laughs> that's me leader gone. <laughs> Two hundred point model. Did you ever play Overwatch with Genji when he just gets his sword and just goes <laughs> and it's fall to the ground? Ouch! <laughs> okay, it's now you, Harry. <laughs> Shit, son. <laughs> I feel like I, I'm going to have to seriously do some damage now, so... I just pulled the rug from underneath you. You, you, you did, <laughs> did? Yeah, you did. Um, so I feel like I'm just going to move forward four inches to there. Yeah. And then it's over to you. Um, I'm going to do my Void Weaver, and I'm going to do his Reactive Target Matrix, which allows him to shoot a weapon in his rear. Let well, you know, because I'm not going to really get anything in my rear. So, I'm going to do Mirage Launchers, which uh, means I, I act as being in cover for this round. Yep. Now, my um, pilot in four with Agility eight, so basically for all the double six, I, I fail it. Yeah. I pass. So, I've got Mirage Launchers up. Um, and, and then you've got to move. I have to move a minimum of six. Now, I'm going to use this arc so I can go way... And move just six inches forward. Straight six forward? Straight six forward. So just on the other side of the centre. Yeah. Meanwhile, I feel like I need to just go four inches forward. Um, this guy, I'm gonna make him do. Uh, Hmm. What's he doing with that? I'm gonna give him, do him a barrel roll, which allows me to half my minimum move distance. Right. Um, in eight. Did you pass. So I have to move a minimum of three. So I'm just gonna turn about here. Mm hmm And just move three forward. Like that. Cool. Next up, I'm going to turn that way, 45 degrees. Oh no, not and ill. Four inches forward. And I have no more. So it's your last dude. Actually, as part of that, I'm going to do a grab. Oh. So, what number is she? She's number two. So, uh, what is it's eight? Which I pass so I can turn you 45 degrees. So, please turn that way. All right. Right. And then you've got no more left, you said. No. So. Okay. She is going to turn and then go straight over to there oh and come off a base. Oh God. Now this is number 
four, who is Trishka. And she's going to do a grab and force get turn as well. Which I fail. Yeah, that's right. Right. Attack phase. I get a three, you get a one. I feel right, I've got a fair him. chance of killing her. Alright, he's going first. But um, I, I feel like you're going to kill him instantly. Um, I, I will... Uh, no, I feel alright. I'm good. So I don't know. Let's go with Trishka. Wait, wait, wait. I will drink. You're going to drink? I will drink. Okay, um, so... Let's put the count on there. The so he's not going to get to attack. So Trishka is using her Hellglaive. So, my, what's your agility? I'm agility 7. Okay, so I need a, a new pilot skill. 2. 2, so I need a 9 to hit you. With Jink? Yeah, because you add your pilot skill when you Jink. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I don't hit. That's right. This guy now. Yep. We'll find a, a number 4, I think it is. Uh, what, this one here? No, the other one. one. This one. Yeah. This is number 5. Yeah, I'm going to fire into him. With... My shuriken cannon. Right, what's the to kill value for that? Uh, to kill is nine. Mm, so you need an eight because I'm a helion. I get plus one to hit. So you're hitting me on sevens. Oh, I feel like I'm going to have to jink with her. So that means I'm hitting you on nines? Yes. Oh, yeah, hang on. Oh, oh. Oh, you hit. Yep. Damn. So I need eight. So you need... Nine to kill normally, but plus one because I'm a Helion. So an eight. No. Seven, thankfully. Oh, no. But I have attacked. So. You have, and of course she is now jinked. It's you now. Hey now. He can't attack, so it's pointless me attacking with these ones yet. Alright. So, I feel like... A woman. She can't attack, no. <laughs> so, I'm going to use my splinter pod... Uh, at the Reavers. I will jink because there's no reason what not to. Okay. Because I'm not in range or anything. I'm a up front arc. So, what is... So, that is just a normal dude. So, that is agility plus my jink, which is two sets of nine. Um, Split pods have plus one to hit, so I need eight. Eight to hit. Which I don't get. Sweet. Now it's my Viktorov. He can actually fire two weapons, I believe. Yep. Um, I'll just double check that, making sure I can. For anyone wondering, the Harlequin rules are in the White Dwarf with Gulliman on the front. Oh, and I also have Hollow Fields, which adds plus one if I jink. Is that to all of these? Yeah, everything that has Hollow Fields. Do, do the jet bikes have Hollow Fields? I guess so. So, um, okay, so Hollow Fields is on everyone. So whenever I do jink, I add an extra one to it, which is pretty cool. And then all vehicles can attack twice, and it's just meant that this guy's got the gun, this guy's got the thing at the back, and also like this guy's got the gun at the bottom, this guy's got the gun in there. So that's what it's supposed to mean. Um, so this guy is not attacking, so he's going to attack twice. So I'm going to do my prismatic can first. Um, and I can't drink, because yeah. I've attacked. Which is um, a 9 plus to kill and a variable again, so I can either add one to my hit or add one to my um, kill. So what do I need to hit, Harry? You need 8 to hit. Right, so I'm just going to add it to my kill. So I need 8 so and then 8. What's the to kill value of it? 9? Nine. 9. So you'd be down to a 7 to kill because so I'm a Helion. Sweet, so 8 and then 7. 8, no. And then my um, Shuriken Cannon is exactly the same, plus 1 a hit, so it's now 7 a hit. Mm -hmm. It's 9 to wound, so it's 7 then 8. So 7, get it, and then, and then an 8. Again. No! Oh god. Harley Quinn? Harlequins have definitely made their mark on the Violet Shards. Killing the leader, and then of course killing Azir as well. That was Azir. No! Put that marker there. Let me know if attack. Right. Who's this? This is Kendra. Kendra is now going to attack with her Hellglaive. So you're, you, you've already jinked. Yeah. So, so I, do you still my... get the jink value? Uh, I believe so. Or do I not? Okay, so I just went over the whole field rules again. And um, what it does is, I always add my pilot and value to my agility when I'm being attacked, even if I don't jink. And if I do jink, I add a further plus one. So let, let me get this right. 
Agility 8, pilot and skill 4, which means I always need a 12 to even hit it. Yeah, so it's 13, but the 12 always hits. Uh, and then these guys I need, uh, what is it, 8 plus 2? So you, no, no, you're agility I'm, I'm 7. I'm 7 plus 2 from a pilot, and, and then because I jinked, it's now a 10. Oh, holy crap. Which is interesting. Right. <laughs> that, oh, this is hard. So, I did not expect that, eh? <laughs> Yeah, Kendra's going next, so we're going to use the Hellglaive. Hellglaives, uh, I need, what, what to hit, nines? Tens. <sighs> and then the next one? Because you've got nobody else left. Yeah. Uh, so that is number three. Oh, that is Kendra. That was Zidane that was attacked. Oh, oh I hit it, I hit a ten. I need an 8 to kill because oh of hell glaives and that'll lop your head off. Oh god. Oh no, a oh, 7! Yes. But you do take a damage. Yeah, that's the. Right. And I believe that is the end of the first round. Which means I'm going to be easier to hit, which is very helpful. And easier to kill because you add 1 to the to kill value. Yeah, so that means that's going to be very different now. Right. So. Now we roll off, right? Yes, because. But so you have to do a break test. No, I don't. You have to do it every round for the fuel. Do. The fuel, oh, <laughs> what? Break. The fuel, I have to roll less than the turn. So that was one, so that wouldn't count. But oh, yeah, yeah. I have to roll, because I lost two models. You have to roll for your break test. I have to roll for my break test for that. So you, that, well, that's you win break. after one round. <laughs> what the hell, Phil? I didn't expect that. <laughs> wow. Right, so with the Harlequins of the Mask of King, King Alan's, Alan's Vengeance, Revengeance, yeah, that. Uh, there's two kills in one round. So, Freya, please don't die, Freya. She's fine. Uh, on the roll of a six, what happens on a roll of a six? On a roll of six, they get home safely. Well, hey, so she's back. Um, and then we have number six, who was uh, Azia. Uh, don't die. Oh, she's dead. Yeah. On a roll one, they are killed and must be removed from the gang roster. Damn. Damn. Crap. <laughs> Meanwhile, I now get the dish out experience. So you pick one surviving member. Yep, and then I pick one of yours. So my surviving member... Uh, let's go for... I think we'll go for... I want to go for one of these two, I think, to up them. I can't up them because they need three experience. Uh, let's go with Gaia, number five. She'll gain one experience point. Uh, and basically, all three are players, and the and the troop master can't go up by one. Right. So we'll have a look at Phil's. But Phil, you have to pick one of mine to get an experience point. I'll pick. Uh, who was the one that actually hit me? That was the last one, wasn't it? It was Kendra. I'll give it a Kendra. You're going to give an experience point to Kendra? Yeah. Because you hit me. Kind yeah. of a wise choice because I need four experience with her I mean, to get her up a level. Yeah. I'd rather give it to someone who worked for it. Um, right. Um, my guys. Let's go and have a look at Phil. So, we get 100 income for simply for fighting anywhere. Uh, so because I won, I'm going to pick D3 times 100 income. Which is number six on the table. Instead of the extra 50 points. So, D3 times 100. Oh my word, so Phil instantly gets 400. Now I had 35 points left over. But don't forget, you've got to dish them out between. Yeah. I had four, uh, 35 points left over as well. So, um, But I'm going to put my experience point. Because um, this guy killed the leader, which is uh, Eel. I'm going to give Eel an experience point. Okay, and which was the one that I wounded? It was the blue one, wasn't it? Yeah. It was then I, I'll give him the experience point. Sweet. Right. Now I need to go on to the rest of the post fight. Uh, so now we go on to... Dividing up the income. Dividing up the income, yeah. So these are all level 2? No, they're all level 1. They're all level 1? No, the pilot and 2, but they're level 1. Oh. Because I it, it literally says, because there's no, um, there's no like weaker dudes. Right. There's no recruits in Harley So Kansas. basically they each get 5 of your total cash. Alright, okay. So, so you 15. lose 15. So I think we're down to 
420. Actually. And then he's level 4. Yeah. So he lo he gets 20 income. Alright, sweet. I just got my 400. Yeah. Awesome. Meanwhile, mine's going to take a bit longer. So I've got 110 income. She uses 20, drops me a 90. The other two are 15, so that's 30, drops me down to 60. And the other two are level 2, which takes... 20 each drops me down to only 40 income, which isn't even enough to buy another model. <laughs> How much income have you got? After 40. All? So you can't even buy a deal, but I can, and I want. So I'm gonna do a deal. This is because you've got 100 left over. I have a 400 because I won. <sighs> so I wanna, I wanna try and get combat drugs, but because I'm Harlequin, I don't get combat drugs. One of my guys gets blessed. By Segarak and become Segarak. So you would roll three dice and you can choose any of these. Yeah. So here we go. Don't roll a six. No! I'm gonna I'm gonna purchase a Segarak for someone. Um, Segarak is pretty interesting. His pilot value becomes five. Uh, and knows all six skills from the skill table. And what? It was, and then if I roll more than once on the table, then basically blah blah blah. So you're down to three hundred income. I'm, I'm gonna make. Um, I'm down to 300, yeah. And uh, I'm gonna make Capri Segarak. I think that's only for one turn, right? It'll be. For, no, I think it's for the entire game. So the rest of the deals, Phil also gets to add one to a vehicle's agility value. Um, but I also roll another six. Uh, and in the rules, I can't have two Segaraks because Segarak can't be in two places at once. So you get to reroll. So I must have to. Re I have to reroll. For another six. For another, what? what? Five. Five. I'd want a weapon's kill rolls. A weapon may only be given this upgrade once. I'm going to buy that, motor sights, and I'm going to put it on to Viktorov, because he's a gun platform. So, yeah. And that costs 200, which leaves me 100. I'll save that 100 for a... Uh, this is going to hurt next game, isn't it? Yeah.